All right, guys and girls, this is Jordan here. I don't want to be scaring you girls and guys that don't like war, but think of it logically. Why do you think the Navy are on standby in the UK? Are they going to stop the trouble with the fish? I'm going to stop the illegal immigrants coming in. you got to think about it logically. I'm not scaring anybody. I'm being a human being like everybody else. If the EU don't agree with a deal... We're going to put our troops in the water. This is how it goes. We said to the EU, we need a deal. But they think we're joking, putting our troops in the water, and they think it's funny. Now, what I'm saying to you is, it's true. I'm real. I'm real. I'm having a few, I'm having a few beers. But at least I'm speaking sense. Now, there's something going down in the sea. As we all know. And it could lead to land as well. They don't just send 4,000 troops into the water. That means there's trouble going to be brewing. Now, anybody with a brain would know that. I'm not being funny or horrible. It may sound like I'm being a bit of an ass. But uh, I'm trying to tell you. There's something not right here. Most of you guys and girls probably know. So we probably, some of you guys and girls probably don't care. But some of you do. I'm telling you. Just to be on the safe side. There's something coming down in this world. And you probably may know, but you don't want to know about it. But I'm telling you anyway. There's going to be war with France and England. Okay? Some people may think I'm talking shit and talking rubbish because I've had a few beers, but that's your opinion. Now, I'm telling you, the way the things are going at the moment, it's getting tense, very tense. It's not going very good. Now, when you want to make a trade deal with a country, you explain it and talk properly. But obviously, the French don't want to listen to the British people. They think they're a joke. Even though we've been paying their money for a couple of years and their country and supporting them, but now we decide to leave the European Union, they want to get horrible and nasty with us. But we really need to think as people, is this what we really want? is to keep trading with the EU, or do we want to go our separate ways, which is normal. Now, if anybody with a brain would say, forget the EU, screw them, and go walk off and find their own trade deals with somebody else, but understand us and love, and likes us for who we are. Obviously, the EU don't want to know the UK. They've said that pretty clear with Michel Barnier and Macron. We want people that understand us what we want to trade, we want to buy some more things. We want to explore in the world and sell our stock. Which isn't most people meant to make money. But the EU want to make loads of money off the UK and not give us much back. That's what we're having a problem with. So that's what upsets a lot of people. Because we spend our so much time of giving the EU our cash and our money and our trade. And they rip us off. Now, the EU might disagree and say, well, the UK are ripping us off in the EU. Who knows? But it's like they don't really care what we're thinking in the EU. But I'm only saying it the way it is. I don't want people to get angry and offended with me. I'm just telling you how it's going to be. Some people don't want to know about it. But uh, the way the world's going at the moment with coronavirus and everything else, it's going to be a shit shamble. I'm sorry about the swearing, but it is. But... Uh, like I say, um, we get, you have to make a decision. We either keep with the EU or we just go our separate ways and trade with Australia. Which I think would be better because we, Boris Johnson has already spoke with Australia. We're wasting our time with the EU. They just keep leading us around the circle. So Angela Merkel and um, Macron and uh, Michel Barnier. What are you saying, Don? Hello? Hello. Uh, so we need to make a decision if we want to stay in our country and get it stronger, which our country is strong anyway. We've got loads of food and resources. Or we can make our country much stronger, even though we're a small island, as we all know. I mean, Jamaica is a lot smaller or Caribbean than England. But we're not talking about that here. We want to make our country great again. We need to make a decision. Stay in the EU, be comfortable. Sometimes we have to make sacrifices for our life and for our country, is what I'm saying in this video. We need to make decisions, which we don't like to do half the time, but we have to. So, it's up to you guys and girls to decide. We either stay in the EU, which some of you may agree with, in, in Labour, 
or conservative will leave. Now, if you leave, we can make our country stronger. We don't need the EU or France to support our country. That's all I can say in this video. Well, thank you for joining me. Peace.